Right now, families in Crawford County are cleaning up after a tornado ripped through Bucyrus. Windows shattered, trees snapped, and debris scattered everywhere. Now neighbors there are assessing the damage and trying to figure out how to move forward. TNTV's Kristen McFarland shares the latest on the aftermath. Damaged buildings, downed power lines and debris can be seen all over Bucyrus from yesterday's high winds, including this home here on Kaler Avenue. The house moving off the foundation you can see here exposing the entire basement. Over on West Charles Street, Tasha Nickler and her family sweep shattered glass as she recalls the moment the strong winds rolled in. My curtains are blowing everywhere. Uh, rain's coming in, like everything's knocked over, glass everywhere, and I was like, I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> the National Weather Service says the tornado ripped through the city up to 110 miles per hour, leaving many neighbors picking up the pieces. I don't think there was anything I could have done to save these windows. I don't think there was anything I could have done to stop somebody's shed from falling into my garage. Neighbors helping neighbors, lending hands and support. The cleanup is a community effort. When I came out, I like looked around and I saw other people coming out on their porches and we were all, you okay? You okay? You all right? Everybody all good? Everybody good? People where it's like, oh, I need help moving this or, or do, you, do you know how to board up a window or do you know how to do this? Because I've never had to board up a window before. We've been talking to insurance companies all day. Just across the street, winds damaged more homes and destroyed a neighbor's Jeep. Then it was gone. It sounded like a train coming through. It rattled our whole house. It was wood speared through this and still some speared through that. It went right through the tire. While crews work to repair damage, people are waiting for their insurance companies to assess the damage. For many, it will be a long road to recovery. Just to give you an idea how strong these winds were yesterday, remember Patty's damaged Jeep? Well, the piece of wood that went through the back windshield came from this front porch just over 100 feet away. In Bucyrus, Kristen McFarland, 10TV News.